In the first two minutes and 52 seconds of the play Grand Horizons, staged by Moonstone Theatre Company, not a syllable passes between longtime husband and wife Bill and Nancy. When the silence is finally broken, an eight-word exchange sparks family turmoil to hilarious effect. I think I would like a divorce. All right. <laughs> the 2020 Tony-nominated play by Bess Wool contrasts the blasé attitude of Bill and Nancy with the horrified reaction of their adult children at the prospect of their parents splitting up after 50 years of marriage. It just doesn't add up. You don't fight. Did you get in a fight? They don't fight. Well, maybe they did. We don't know. How Look, do we at know? the end of the day, we're going to support whatever you want. Is this what you want? Is this actually what you want? know what she wants. This production at the Kirkwood Performing Arts Center in March of 2023 marked Grand Horizons Midwest Regional Premiere and Moonstone's fourth show. Since the theater company launched in 2019, it has enjoyed glowing reviews for its work. Sharon Hunter, who directed Grand Horizons, is also Moonstone's founder and producing artistic director. There's a business side of me and there's an artistic side of me. And I should be saying that I'm very grateful for that because as much as when I was just performing, I missed that in control kind of person that handles the business. And when I was doing business, I always missed the you know, performance side of me. So I'm able to blend the two. We first met Sharon Hunter prior to a rehearsal for Grand Horizons. Hunter's involvement in theater stretches back to her high school days. But as a student at Lindenwood University, she also became involved in radio. Hunter went on to produce and host her own shows at KEZK and Y98 by day, while acting at night. After 10 years, it was off to New York, where she focused on producing and performing in plays and cabaret for another 10 years. So when I moved back to St. Louis from New York, I had kept my ear to the ground about how theater in town was really flourishing and women were coming into their own as artistic directors and owners of theater companies. And I thought, if I go back to my hometown, which I love, I could start a theater company here and I could give jobs to people, which is the one thing that I really wanted to do because there's so many talented people here on stage and off, designers, creatives, it's amazing. And that's, what's, that's what brought Moonstone Theater Company to life. Moonstone's focus is on 20th century classics and new plays. Its first production was Neil Simon's Jake's Women. It's about a psychologically challenged writer adrift in a troubled marriage. Over the course of the play, Jake has a series of conversations, both real and imagined, with all the women, both dead and alive, in his life. Sharon Hunter originally planned to raise the curtain on Jake's Women in May of 2020 but the pandemic forced a postponement for about a year and a half. In the interim, Hunter used the time constructively. Uh, I actually started the St. Louis Theater Task Force where all the theaters would get together for meetings every, two weeks out of every month. And we would talk about what do we do to get ourselves to come back for theater. And that was so supportive. We really leaned on each other and got some great ideas. I started a podcast called Moonstone Connections. Um, and then we finally started our, our theater company with uh, our first production was in November of 2021. The second production was David Auburn's Proof, a family drama revealing the sometimes fine line between genius and insanity. Then a return to Neil Simon and Barefoot in the Park, about a newlywed couple adjusting to life in New York City. The emergence of the Omicron variant during this period created more production and scheduling issues for Moonstone, but the shows did go on. I think now everything seems to be in a pretty good place. You know, if theaters come back and, and uh, I'm just, I'm proud that I was able to still start a company during pandemic.
Rose Court is the next stop on the line. It's more of an assisted situation. Got it. Medical facility. You're there to you. Okay, got it. Let's <laughs> come sit with Mom. In Grand Horizons, the characters Bill and his oldest son, Ben, were played by real-life father and son, Joe Neal and Jared Joplin. These veteran actors have performed together on several productions over the years, and they share an appreciation for what Moonstone and the St. Louis theater scene have to offer. We have, we have depended so much on companies like Moonstone over the years mm -hmm. that have come along and kept the audiences growing in the St. Louis area and offering a multitude of choices for them, the kinds of theater that's available, and helping to bring young actors along. And that is that is such an important thing to a community like St. Louis, oh, yeah. to be able to continue that. And Moonstone is one of the ones who has stepped forward now and is doing that. Yeah. Regional theater in general. Is oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. And this, I believe this is the Midwest regional premiere mm -hmm. of this show, which is a heck of a feather in the cap, too. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And I love to bring theater to audiences that will help them to think about their own lives and inspire conversations between themselves and other family members. To me, that's what theater's about. It's seeing something in the moment that you are just like, wow, I want to go home and I want to have a good conversation with my daughter or my husband. You know, that kind of thing. For Living St. Louis, I'm Ruth Ezel.